Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and today I will show you how to make this dainty lacy seed bead earrings. Consider subscribing with the bell, liking and sharing this video because in this way you motivate me to make more and more tutorials and I can't thank you enough for this support. You don't know how much it means to me to like, share and comment and subscribe. Thank you and without further ado, let's get started with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of 11-0 seed beads, white and black. Here I'm using earring findings in golden color. And by the way, you could check description for full list of materials, Facebook page to share pictures of your creations that you did following me, link for PayPal donations, link to my second channel with the fast clips and you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel. By the way, thank to all of you that support me as members. And let's continue. This is monofilament that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters. This is size 10 beading needle scissors and these are flat nose pliers that are not obligatory but I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads and sometimes I squeeze my monofilament to go through the eye of size 10 beading needle. Okay and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. And I'm starting my work guys by picking up 12 of these beautiful white beads. Okay, and I have my 12 on my needle and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot. How I do this the familiar way, I go twice through the loop I have here. I pull gently like this. And then what I want to do is one more knot. And now I have this circle of beads. Okay, then I will go a few beads away from my knot that I did. And from here on I will start my next row. And for my next row, guys, I'm going to pick up three white beads. And as I'm exiting through one of those whites, I will go back through it like this. You see? So when I pull, I have a cross of four beads. Three newly added and one in the center. And this is called right angle weave. Then what I want to do is go through the following seed bead. And in this step I'm going to take two beads and I'm going backwards through the bead of this one of the beads of this cross and through the one in the center here. And you see I again have four beads. One, two, three, four. And when I pull I have another cross but this cross shares beads with the previous cross and I use one of the beads in the center. Okay, then again I'm going through the next bead and I'm going to take two beads again and I will repeat the same thing. I'm going through the previous two beads in circle, forming another cross intersecting with the previous one, sharing beads with the previous one. Okay, then again I take two, go back like this and now you could also go through the following bead just to save one movement. Okay, now I'm in a position to start my next cross and I will continue these guys. And when I'm up to here, at my last step, I will be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and here I am at almost my last step. You see, I'm adding two beads again, like I did before. And I'm going in the next seed bead. Okay, 
and I'm here at my last step. And you see, I want to make one more cross of four beads here, or right angle weave. But I already have one, two, three seed beads. That is why I will go here. And at this step, I need to add only one bead to finish my cross. Why? Because my first and my last crosses meet and I'm using... Uh, some of their beads plus the one in the center to make my last cross okay and I'm adding it and let me remind you that this row started with three beads to make the first cross then I continued with two beads to make the next crosses and for the last cross I used only one bead to make it this is why I'm working in a circle and some of the beads overlap, if you may say this, okay? They share beads. Okay, now as I finish this cross, I want to go here at the beads that are sticking out the most. And I'm going to fill in the gaps between them with black beads. Okay, I'm taking a black, going like this. I take another black, go in the next white. Then another one. And go here. And I'm going to continue this, guys, until the end. And this row is really easy and really pleasant. So I'm sure it will be no problem. I'll meet you here. Okay, and here I am where I'm adding my last black bead from this row. Then I'll go through the next black and white. Okay. And now here, guys, I'm going to add three beads. Okay, three. I'm adding them backwards through this white. And in this way, I have four again. I'm forming the familiar right angle weave. Okay, I have it here again. Now, in my next step, I'm going through the black and through the next white. And here, I want to make one more right angle weave. That is why I'm adding three more beads and using the one in the center, I'm, in, I'm making it because now I have four beads. And now my right angle weaves don't intersect. That is why I'm going to add three beads along this row from the beginning until the end and it will be much easier i think okay and just to save time go through the next black and through the next white because in this way you save one movement and then again three and then again through the black and through the following white and I have this. Okay, I will continue this and meet you here. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads in this row. And what I want to do next is to exit from one of the beads that are sticking out the most. So I go in this direction. Then I go in this bead here. That is sticking out. Now in my next row, I'm going to add three beads everywhere. White, black and white. And from one that is sticking out the most, through the other. Through the neighbor one. Okay. Then again, black, uh, white, black, white. And go here. And I'll show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end. 
Okay. I will continue this and meet you here. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last beads from this row. And pay attention to add them here. Don't go through this bead. Sometimes uh, the beginners make this mistake. I know I was making it when I was a beginner. Okay, so now uh, don't worry that it bends a little bit like this. It, this will be fixed later. And by the way, this work sits really nice and straight. You don't need to iron it or uh, make other changes. It just sits great. Okay, so I'm exiting out of this black bead. And I'm taking five beads. Okay, I take five and I go through this black here, the following black, from one black to the other black and add five white beads, okay? And then I pull. And by the way, if you don't know this technique of ironing, uh, it is when your work bends a little bit, you put a cotton cloth on it and iron it and it goes straight. It's useful sometimes because when you use different brands of beads, sometimes uh, it might start bending. Okay, so now I have five more and from one black bead to the other. And then again, five. And through the following black. And I'll show you one more time and let you do this by yourself because here nothing is complicated. Okay. Now I will continue and meet you here. Okay, and I have my last five beads here. I'm exiting through one of the blacks and I'm going through the other one. Okay, and my in my next two rows, I will straighten up my work. Okay, how I do this? First, I go through tip two of these white beads that I added in my previous row. Okay, I'm exiting here after these two white beads. Here is my thread. Then I skip the one that's on my way and I go through the next two beads. Okay, and then when I pull here, I have an angle. You see how this bead sticks out and I have an angle. Then I'm not going through this black bead, but I straight go through the following two white beads. After that, what I do is that I skip the angle and go through the next two white beads. And when I pull, I have another angle here. Then I will show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end. And you will see how your work straightens up in this row. Okay, I go through two, skip here the top, go through the next two. And by the way, if it doesn't wanna pop out, you could help it a little bit and then pull. Okay, I will continue this and meet you here. Okay, guys, and I'm exiting here after this bead. And now what I want to do is go through all of those beads. And then I'm going through this white bead, one after the top. And here I will add one black bead and I will go in the same place. Skip this white that is next to the black and go through the following two whites, this one and the top one. Okay. So in fact, I'm connecting with black, this one and this one. And I'm not pulling too tight. And here it is a good idea to use transparent thread because here I think it's showing a little bit. Okay, so now I'm repeating this step.
and I'm repeating it again and my work sits really straight after this row. It's already straightened up after the previous one but with this one it will sit absolutely straight. Okay, I will continue and meet you here. Okay, and here I am where I'm adding my last bead from this row. And by the way, you could stop your work up to here if you want, but I want to make an additional row. If you prefer smaller earring, earrings or elements, you could definitely stop up to here. But now I will make another row that will consist of seven white beads. I mean each step of this row will consist of seven white beads. So I'm exiting here through this top bead, through this one that's sticking out the most. And I'm going through the next one that is sticking out the most. So when I pull, I have this. Then I will repeat this step. I will take seven white beads, okay, seven, and from one bead that's sticking out the most, going through the other one. Okay, I'll show you one more time. Here it is. I go here. Okay, guys, and I will continue this and I'll meet you here. Okay guys, and now I'm adding my last seven beads from this row. And what I want to do is similar to what I did in my previous row. Okay, I go through three beads now in this direction. I skip here the top bead. And in this step I go through two beads. Okay, and I pull. Now I'm exiting one white bead away from this inner angle. And here I want to take one black bead. And I'm going in the same place, one white bead away from the inner angle. And then I go through two beads in this direction. And now I'm exiting next to the middle one of these seven that I added. And I skip it and I go through two beads in this direction. And then I pull to make an angle. Then I need one black. I go here in the same place, one white a bead away from this angle and through two beads. Okay guys, then again skip the angle and go through two beads in this direction and pull. Then take one and do absolutely the same thing. In my previous row, when I added five beads, I mean here, I was showing you this in two steps. First, I formed an angle and then I added these beads here. But now I'm showing it together in one step. If it's easier for you, do it this way. If not, do it the other way. It's up to you. Okay, and I will continue all of this and meet you here. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last black bead from this row. And see how straight and beautiful it looks. And now I'm going to take this earring finding and I'm taking one seed bead. The earring finding and one seed bead. Okay, this is what I have. And I will go backwards. Like this. And I will go two or three more times around this loop I did here. OK, 
okay and I will go through some beads in this direction how I make this knot I make a loop I go once I go second time through this loop I've made and I pull then I go through the following seed bead and by the way you could repeat this knot several more times when you make your last knot go through the following seed bead and cut your thread and now my dainty lacy seed bead earring is ready okay guys and now my dainty lacy seed beads earrings are ready so if you like them it's a good idea to subscribe with the bell also like share and comment and this is a great support i can't thank you enough for this support in this way you motivate me to make more and more tutorials and you could check description for full list of materials facebook page to share pictures of your creations that you did following me uh, link for paypal donations link to my second channel with the fast clips and you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel thank you so much for watching bye bye from me